Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, welcome to another episode of with us at here at Sujinari. Today we're going to be playing some Onichamara Z2 Kills. Yep. Well, some of that fresh <clears throat> Japan uh, in its classiest form. Yeah. Of course. Um, Brandon, so, you have not played this game before, I so have would you not. like to? Yeah, uh, I'll take the sticks. I'll take control break this your time. Onichambra cherry. Yeah. Well, let's see how this goes for us. I mean, like I said, this is all blind to me, so I've never actually. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the initial story mode will have the story and it's mission based stuff after that. You can replay it later to get credits. Um, um, if you head to the shop right now, all that shit will be locked, but just to get a feeling. Blood color. We'll keep blood uh, red. Black? Well, it, it's a censorship point. Uh, yeah, Mostly. We'll keep it red. But yeah, we can keep blood red. Um, so it'll so there will be quests that I'll unlock later on that. Uh, Here. Yeah, that you'll be able to play certain levels. Oh, okay. With a quest in mind, so you can get more stuff there. So oh, okay. I believe it's in coordinate. Can make your character's costume type something? Yeah. Certain? So this is for any of the uh, stuff that you have. I don't know. Did you get the uh, other pack? No. no oh, okay. I did not end so up we'll hold off on that for a little bit, but we'll unlock stuff as we go. Yeah. So you'll select your characters. Okay, so here you go. So you have Kagura, Saya, Aya, oh, and yeah. Saki. Um, and you can have all their shit ready to go. If you want them all to be bunny girls, you'll have to get the bunny girl DLC, but, you know. Something about Saya that just... Yeah. She understands me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so initially we can run through the, you know, do that, run through the story mode, but we are going to have to do some... Uh, Bit of a grind in between because uh, if you try to play through just normal, um, the percentages that your weapons and the damage that damage they'll do output. is upgradable. Oh, okay. So if you try to play the story mode before you do anything else, you are going to see yourself doing like 0.1% damage with every swing. Yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, me and uh, Liz over on a damn fine cup of gaming. Um, we tried to bang our head against that, but then we realized, holy shit, we're gonna have to redo everything. And when you kind of stay, we're staying off of it for a while, we're probably gonna use a save file we have a little more experience on. Um, Alright, well, let's just jump right into this. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Now, uh, normally we're all about the hard difficulties being, you know, the OG best fucking whatever. <laughs> um, go for casual because we don't want to be here for years. All right, fuck it. Yeah. Like I said, yeah, this is this is on you to me too. So yeah. I don't want to like jump in. It's a, yeah, no, like <clears throat> just yet. When it comes to difficulty, oh yeah, uh, here's all the information in the game that you'll ever need. Uh, feel free to hit L and R one. You have <clears throat> only the amount of time it takes for the game to load to actually look at this. Wow. So hit, feel free to hit R one uh, to okay, look at more of the shit. On the tag. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So it's uh, kind of Muso esque, and then it f it gets a little more of a, a really shitty bayonetta feel <laughs> when it comes to the bosses. <laughs> oh shit! That sick trophy shit, son. You'll have a platinum in no time. Um, yeah, because that's what I want to do. It's yeah. Platinum this game. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're gonna platinum one game, it better be on a Chambra yeah. Chaos Z two. Better be Bikini Kill. <laughs> nah, man, I I'm trying to fucking uh, hundred percent. Uh, Bikini Samurai Girls, which was one of the previous Tony Chanbury games to come to the U.S. Per uh, on 360. Assassin Sisters descended from the Flame of Blood, blood and represent their lineage. Oh, wow, I thought these two were sisters and then the other nah, two. Nah, nah. It's the other way around. Perfect. Two pairs of sisters for the Spirit Clan has to die about the conspiracy, though they revealed in their attempts to best one another in Chanbara style swordplay. No deciding book. I look over and say I can't realize they must struggle harshly with their true enemy without the bank of blood, but I want to die money to the world where I want to be the mastermind behind everything. Of course. Of course that'll be. Yeah. Like, how did they not see that one coming? Like, She met the two to die by each other's blades, but her convoluted plan was plot. Uh, her convoluted plot was discovered and thwarted. Desperate, she holds herself up in the castle, plot. intending to lure Kagura and Saya in and eliminate them <coughs> herself. And yeah, how did that turn out? This is stronger than the corrupt matriarch could have ever imagined, and her troops were decimated. 
I sent these little witnesses back to on both sides of the last little bit of fact. Just as it seemed the truce was in the cards for these two warring clans, however, the call of the bloodline of the them and once more their blades were drawn. So they're like well, why not? cowboy, samurai, vampires, right? In bikinis. Hunters. Okay, yeah, so okay. here's the boss fight. Uh, all right, just sick. straight into it. Uh, here's all of the shit Light, you need. Strong, gym, um, sub, basically, button, you'll you'll get to the rest button. of this throughout the game, but just remember the lock on shit. Yeah, which is all. Uh, which R2 is all. Evade. Yeah. Remember the evade dash. shit. And then know your uh, lights and normal shit. Uh, your sub weapons will come in later. They're not. You're not gonna use them as much. Um, so your weapons go through like degradation, not degradation, but they, the more blood and shit they have on them, the less ah. damage they'll do. Of course. And there's some kind of mechanic there that allows you, uh, depend. Yeah, that was clearing your weapon of whatever blood it had. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Actually. Yeah, that's why I recommend that lock on. Yeah, no, I'm trying to, but I can't remember what it was. In that. R1. Was it R1? Yeah. There we go. Okay, I think you're on your sub. So uh -huh. hit O. No, that's, that's your sub. Okay, that's your sub. That's okay, your sub. no, that, that's... Okay. No, she's just stupid power. See, I have played through this game with, like, this one I was before, and mm -hmm. it's... Yeah. Uh, it's a mess. Yeah. I can't like remember any of this shit. Um... But it's fun, though. No fun try not to get your shit kicked in too hard. Well, that's gonna be kind of hard, because it's gonna happen. Yeah. So yeah, you have uh, let's see, I have, uh, ready to switch out. Uh, you can also recover your uh, chip damage while you're not the main character. Isn't that chainsaw? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Well, I mean, they're vampire, ninja, samurai stuff. Whatever. And they hunt zombies sometimes. Yeah, clearly. But yeah, you're uh, yeah. Working that fucking chainsaw. And kind of hilarious. Yeah. I wasn't expecting her to have a chainsaw because I was like, huh, oh, okay, these ones all have swords and whatnot. I could I didn't really expect what to, yeah. to make of it. See, it wouldn't be as annoying if the second one wasn't there. You build meter for those impact attacks, yeah. The grading system in this shit is super harsh because the damage will always fuck you up worse of than course. you can imagine. There is a recovery thing for... Yeah, for... I believe that's Saya. I don't know. Saya. Some. Um, because she's yeah. a vampire. You use blood, heal a little bit. It's all gonna be explained. Yeah, I love how it shows them here, like, fighting one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. But when I was getting my shit kicked in just a few minutes ago, it was two-on-one. Two -on -one, yeah. That'll happen. What the? The triangle head? Or pyramid head? Kinda. Might yeah. as well be. With a more uh, practical helmet, but yeah. Who the hell are you? Fresh English subtitle. Alright. I'll provide fresher English stuff. I'm not sure if the themes of this game have uh, made themselves prevalent, right. but gratuitous panty shot the game. Yeah, might as well be. Yeah. The way that's just blatantly throwing it out there. Oh, yeah, that, that's light for this. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Oh, God. I don't know how much further I'm going to get into this. <laughs> Welp. Well. I don't foresee it. If it the has to be, a, if it happen, if it has to be a one-off, it'll be a one-off. Uh, it can be the way that this is about to go. Oh, I'll see. I'll give it as. Oh yeah, no, like it's. I'll give it as much as a run as I can right now yeah. and see how I feel. Like it seems rough, and that's because it is. <laughs> um, but it is a great game, and the Only Chandra series is. Like... Oh, I, I was a fan of the first one. Yeah, man. I love that one. Yeah. this one it's pretty good. 
Also, um, something that we might not be able to show, but we can definitely appreciate later. All of the trophies, because of the way the trophies work, mm -hmm. um, every like four or five are part of a profile. So one will be the head, one will be the chest, one will be the midriff, oh. one will be the lower bits. Oh, okay. Um, so that's a reason to platinum the game, because then you got four ladies to look at when you got when you're looking through your uh, chivos. Perfect. Yeah. I don't even care what the achievement is. I'm just gonna be looking at the picture. Yeah. If anything, just find out which one ever which one ever has the uh, the boob section. Of course. And uh, you'll be good. That's all you really need are the chesticles. Yeah. That's what they're there for. Just to stare at them when women are talking. That's all I ever really do. Well, our sisters are still missing. I mean, I can't really name the last time I looked at a woman really face to face without staring at their breasts. <laughs> First. And last. <laughs> like. I'm just saying. Nah, it's just the standard thing. Show up, look up and down. You can look mid, just look back hello. up and down, Thank look you? mid again, and then start talking. Like, I don't know how Okay, that... yeah, so you, Anna's also... Like, I don't even know how Person. that's like a conventional outfit. Oh, it's not. It's just like... the gratuitous, gratuitous stuff that is on each other, but it's in charge of the series. But yeah, no, um, when it comes to the stuff outside of the boss fights, it's a fairly yeah, it seems, competent Musa fighter. Yeah, it seems a lot more... Uh, On point here? Yeah, yeah. Like I, I can actually grasp the moves. In the planned dungeon section where the uh, camera control is a little more reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, kill these guys for points and orbs and your, your classic uh, character action Search style. style whatnot, yeah. I forgot that the, the controllers have speakers. Yeah. So I can hear them talking. Works for me. Keeps him from running home to mama before I'm through. Down here. So, we're not the ones trapped in here. They are. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna get in a better feel for it. Yeah. It's just, uh, yeah, that that introductory like boss fight to the game. Oh yeah, like, no, it fucks you up. Obviously, and like I'm new to the game, so I don't really know the controllers all that yeah. well. It's something to go and back I'm to. I'm still trying to figure it all out. So like the fact that they're just gonna throw me into something like that, yeah, it, it does kind of seem off-putting. So. Yeah. But it's no, weird. yeah, this this seems a lot better. Yeah, this seems a lot more bearable. Yeah. Um. Also, the zoning for some of the. Uh, enemies here is a little bit off so sometimes you'll have guys on the other side of cages that you can't kill them through and you're like that. And, yeah <laughs> except sometimes those guys are required to clear the area oh but so hopefully they'll be just in front of the gate and you'll be able to, keep, to slash them but sometimes they'll be fucking off over in the side and then you'll be stuck until they decide to come near you yeah feel free to let these guys kill themselves well, oh, most of them. Don't fall. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What? That timely advice. Um, right. but yeah. Oh yeah, there's a demon-y looking deal yeah, I can, I can over see here. that now. I can see the demons now. So your blades are fairly blood-soaked. Oh yeah, this is your super, basically. You shoot out ping-pong balls out of certain areas. Um... You also have a uh, V-Trigger style Rage-esque mode. Uh, as you progress through the game, that'll get a little bit stronger. Uh, okay. So yeah. just for it. There's a transformation sequence somewhere in that. I can totally do even better next time. Is there a map to this or not? Kind of. Um, not one that you'll ever see. Like, I was good, like, I, to to, for a solid few minutes when I first played this game, I thought it was procedurally generated, but it's not. What was it? What was it yeah, you gotta clear your... Or, what was it? There we go. There we go. What and, happens if you don't clear the blade? Uh, damage goes down. Ah, there we go. That's what it was. I think so. Yeah, well, yeah. Got it. Well, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Also, feel free to switch to your other character so you can recover sure a little. Right I think. How should I 
Yeah, no, you're regaining health. So it's a lot like a chip kind of damage. But there is also a healing thing uh, that you can do while you're with that character. I don't remember the exact control scheme. That is. Uh, is that supposed to heal you? Oh, uh, it might clear you of blood because you get soaked. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. She just sounds like she's getting pumped out right there. To be fair, I'm not saying I'm an expert on this game. I've just played it before. I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying, like, uh, did you know like what that was? No. <laughs> well, I, I have an inkling, but... Um, Basically, the quickest run through that could possibly be done. And, uh, Her secondary weapon is only one sword, as opposed to using both. Okay, I don't know if you noticed the item that you just picked up, but that's also part of, like, upgrades and unlockables and all that. Nope, I did not catch that. Okay, there was like a green crystal style thing that just got absorbed well, I, I, Like, I've seen them, but I just didn't know yeah. what they were for. Yeah, the game doesn't really make it super clear that you're able or supposed to Pick, uh, upgrade. Items. Yeah. Ever? <laughs> I can get the gist of it just from how like this is actually planned. Yeah. Like there's like actual. Yeah, no, the, the game that. is very fun, and it's worth a play if uh, you've got the patience for it. Of course, I mean, like any other one of these like grindy type games. Yeah. You're dead. <laughs> Done in them, son. You. This for heavy. She just kicks, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, heavy. She's like, fuck that. I don't need sword. This fucking light tap punching zombie ass right. motherfucker. Kick the shit out of all that guy is stuck in that can. I almost feel bad. So what's the premise of a of a game? Is this actually the second one, or is this like another installment this that we is... just happened to get? I don't remember all- because there are some that have not come to this side of the Yeah, farm. that's what I was wondering. I was like, is this actually the second one? Onichanbara Chaos Z2, I think, is the third Onichanbara game to come to the US? Uh, it's either the third, or it's the sixth game to come out in general. I don't know, I gotta, you know, wiki this up a little more, because I'm less familiar with the, with the series than I like to me. But I did play uh, Bikini Samurai Girls on the 360. The 360 and that, yeah, that one I played. That was a... Uh, Just because I was like, I like Japan, and I like sexy women in bikinis, yeah. so why not do the both? I was a kid, and I was like, I am I have a beard, and this is a GameStop, and they're not going to ask me for my ID. Yeah, because high school. Um... Uh, and I was like, was Bikini Samurai Girls. <laughs> Check out how big it is. I know. don't care if this is a movie, I'm, I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> yeah, I've had that shit ever since. Bet you wanted down here. I think this might be a little much for your average pet. I like I am better. The size yeah. of animal it calls but that's just my Cogger's cool, but she's a little overbearing. Drop down. Is this a boss fight? It's gonna be a mob kind of fight. You're gonna fight these moles with dicks on their backs. Why? Uh, they're well. I mean, they're they're kind of like that shark thing in Monster Hunter 4. They'll they'll hit you. And they've got bladed shit on their back, but you don't really know why, and it's most likely a dick. Yeah. yeah. You just keep doing this until you kill them all? Yeah, it's it's a mob fight, so they're just gonna keep coming until you're done with them. I like that jump, but at the same time, it's like a... Yeah, sometimes it fucks you up. Also, you are halfway through that zone. Before finish. 
Sometimes it's gonna be like necessary for you to switch weapons before cleaning either. Okay, yeah, two swords. Yeah. Well, you have two selectable weapons. You have your main and yeah. your sub. Yeah. Perfect. I was like, oh, what the hell just happened? You know what this reminds me of? What? The sorority girls I used to know. <laughs> Those bitches were always like that, man. Yeah. And a way to get your shit pushed in. Kagura! Damn it. This is what happens when you try to show off like that. You know I have no obligation to save you, right? Ugh, screw it! <laughs> So yeah, she gets infused with uh, vampire blood and is she bullshit. Biting her? Yeah. Wait, Kagura's biting her. Yeah. Please. And by doing that, she's in like yeah. some fucking beast mode for V trigger shit. Yeah. What's going on? That should have healed you. Well, her powered up bullshit mode is to her, her devil trigger. Yeah. It's straight up a devil trigger. Yeah, it might as well be. Boy, that doesn't sure as hell ain't gonna die in a place like... Yeah. And there it is. Dare drive. <laughs> That's what it's called. Is this your... she a cat? Uh, she's, she's got a tail. She's, she's a cat. I think it's more... Ah. She's a cat! Yeah. Well... God! Monkey cat thing. I should have Vampire, I should, samurai... I Bikini. I should have expected that. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't expect that. Yeah, the, the, so the it's a devil dub. monkey cat thing. Yeah, the dub is interesting. Yeah. My when transform attacks will be faster and stronger, and the XC gauge will automatically increase. Change for these powerful abilities, however, your health Once your shit's good. full, hit L3 and R3 at the same time. While the stain gauge is maxed to make that shit happen. No, it's uh, entirely possible to transform while attacking. Got it. Yep. All I need is one. So yeah, now you get to slash through these fuckers as fucking devil trigger cocker. Animations just take over more of the screen when you're at the right angle. Yep. Uh -huh. yeah, this is very Devil May cry -ish. Yeah. Like after, like when you first go into Devil Trigger mode and whatnot, except, you know, minus the Dante. Yeah. But yeah, like you can't tell me that's not like a devil trigger right there. No, it's, she it's, transformed, it's transformed for God's sake. It's straight up a devil trigger. <coughs> so this Dagu. Is... <laughs> and obviously this game didn't have the best funding yeah. from uh, this transition. Hence why, hence why it's panels and not animated. Hence, yeah, hence why you get panels and not actual cutscenes. Listen, there was a lot of money put into each of those chesticles. And there's four girls, so that's like four times... That's like four million right there. Yeah, that, that's four million of the $26 they had. Uh... <laughs> but yeah. Oh, that's, that's great. Now you'll notice, you missed a section. Yeah, no, that's what I was about to say. I was like, how did that happen? If you jump across that bit when you fell, uh, there's another area to clear. Oh, yeah. okay, that's This fine. game's got some stuff, and a lot of it is weird. And that's what I was wondering. I was like, why is there a dash there? Like, yeah. What the hell did I miss? I thought I went in order, but yeah, I forgot that I didn't actually uh, jump across. Alright, yeah. well, I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah. Let me in. I guess I'll give it. I'll give it a, a more of a, a run through. Yeah. Like I'm not saying I'm not gonna do a full playthrough, but 
I mean, I'll give it a, a run through. We'll give it a few more episodes. Give it a try. Yeah, I'll go through. I mean, obviously, from what you're saying, I'll grind, so that's fine. Yeah. Just because of what I'm saying. Um, I mean, I, I'm having fun with it. Yeah. It's pretty... It's pretty, fun. It's, it's fun. Yeah. It's pretty solid, actually. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <clears throat> like, I'm enjoying, like, how we're playing. It's just that first initial battles that threw me off. Cause it it like, is kind of funny. I was like, what the hell do you want Too me bad to do soon. here? Fists, that is. Oh, now we're playing as the other girls, huh? Uh, probably, yeah. Yep. Saki. Yep. Well. Saya and Saki. Saya and Saki. Well, I guess no better time to call it a day <laughs> than right here. We than on the Emoto panel. Yeah, right? Yeah. We can pick up next time on see how these two laid out. <laughs> For sure. So... Next time we'll see what happens with Saya and Saki for all of those that haven't played this game and are interested and are in seeing... desperately in need of more <laughs> gratuitous panty shots, but on the younger Emotos. Exactly. All right, everyone. We'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Wait.